Welcome to Pilates and Yoga with Vicky for our low intensity Pilates class. And really just hoping to build some strength and flexibility in our key muscle groups. So if you've got a blanket or towel handy, that would be great to just support ourselves as we go through some of the moves. Um, otherwise that's all you need. Coming onto the mat, starting lying on our back. So just get the concept of that pelvic movement, have a little roll of the pelvis, like you've got a clock face, and you can roll towards the 6 of the clock and to the 12 of the clock. And also, you can drop the hip down towards the 3 or towards the 9. So just have a little bit of a play, and then you want to set yourself in neutral. So in between all the numbers, if you had a little tray of marbles, the marbles would all sit in the centre instead of rolling off any direction. So getting that neutral, keeping that right relation, so you've got a slight lower back curve. Having said that, if you find you lift the legs, you start to arch up through the back, then anchor the back down towards the mat more to protect the spine. So finding neutral, relax tension from your body, and imagine you've got a glass balancing on this left knee. So everything stays solid and still, coming to the leg slide with the right leg. Exhaling as you come out. Inhaling as you draw it back. Slow and controlled. Nine more. Bracing this core. Eight. Exhale. Inhale, return. For seven. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. For six. Keeping this knee still, remember that glass. For five. Keeping neutral. For four. Beautiful control. For three. For two. For one. Imagine you have the glass on the right leg there and taking the left leg out. So exhale, slide. Inhale, turn. For nine. For eight. Keeping this core zipped up internally. For seven. Check there's no tension in the face, neck, or shoulders. For six. Going for five. Exhale, four. For three. <coughs> Excuse me. Two. One. Okay, fan the feet out, ground out the feet. Lifting the right foot up, just making little circles with that right knee, super slow and controlled, like you're drawing a circle on the ceiling with that knee. Again, imagine the glass on the other side. Five more. For four. Keeping the hips steady and still. For three. Two. One, other way, for ten, bracing that core, nine, just start to look deep in the core, for eight, seven, six, five, slow control, four, relax the upper body, three, two, one. Place that foot down, other side, floating it up and make your circles one way. Exhale half the circle, inhale the other half. That's three. The four. These might seem like subtle movements, but they're really effective and should be feeling deep in the core. For six. All the muscles that help support our spine. For eight. Nine. 
10. Other way for 10. Control. Remember that glass on the knee. For 9. 8. Going around for 7. For 6. Keep it going. For 5. It's like it's set in cement. It's so still. Last one. Place the foot down. Keep that left foot grounded. Feel into the three points of that left foot. Big toe to toe here. As you take the right leg up. Knee stuck to our hip. Again, keeping that core activation. Push it out. Lower for harder. Higher for a little bit easier. You choose. Just go straight above the knee. Above the hip even. Going for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the pelvis still for eight. Add on nine, ten. Hold it there. Now try and keep drawing the lower ribs towards the hips. So keep this centering feeling going on. Then we're going to point it up the way and flex it down. Just. Enough in line with the other leg. Go lower if you want to, but it's a bit harder, so you might find you start to get too big or arched. So keep the movement smaller then. So up to you for one, two. As long as you've got good abdominal control, you can play with going a little bit lower. Up to you for five, six. Reach out of that hip and push through that heel to keep the legs active. For eight. Nine, ten, ribs, other side. So taking it up, stuck the knee above the hip, pushing up through the heel for one, two. You choose how low you go, bracing from here. Exhale, inhale, return. For four, just keep breathing, whatever you do. For five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and hold again. Think of that knitting of the lower ribs towards the hips, pointing it up and then flexing it down, lowering to wherever you want with the leg. For one, two, three, all about keeping this pelvic stability. For five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it back down. Keeping this centering feeling happening. We have a little play with our arm movements. So softening your shoulders and let your arms float up overhead. And the natural tendency is to let that ribcage just pop up and with that centering that root hip connection we're drawing it back down to keep this inner corset here so we'll try and not let the rib cage flare this time so keeping that rib cage drawn down exhale float the arms up feel the difference inhale float the arms down keeping that center feeling two more exhale and this is great for shoulder mobility inhale doesn't matter if your arms get all the way or not. One more. Coming back down. Then for a little bit of spinal mobility. Thumb the toes, feet into the three points of the feet, big toe, big toe, and heel. Press through those. If your knees are a little bit, um, you need a little bit gentler movement, you can take your feet a little bit further away from your bottom. We're going to roll up so. Tilt the pubic bone towards you as you peel off. Exhale all the way, roughly straight line, knees to shoulders. Hold it there as you inhale. And then exhale like you're lowering the segments of a chain. Roll it back down, two more. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, peel yourself off. Inhale, hold, stabilize. 
Exhale, roll yourself back down. One more. Again, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, peel yourself up. Inhale, hold. Exhale, back down. Three more, adding in the arm movement as well. So inhale, pair. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale, float the arms overhead, keeping them there. Exhale, lowering the spine, second by second, all the way back to neutral. Inhale, float your arms back down. Two more. Exhale, peel yourself up. Find that stability. Inhale, float the arms overhead. Exhale, melting down each segment to the spine, back to neutral. Inhale, float the arms back by your sides. One more. Exhale, peel yourself off. Inhale, arms float overhead. Exhale, rolling down. Inhale, arms back down. Beautiful. Then making it more of a glute butt focus on the move, we're just going to squeeze ourselves up and then tap it down softly and we're going to do 10 of those. Try not to put too much weight through the arms. Off we go. Exhale on the effort for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Hug the right knee in, give it a squeeze into that hip crease. Up the side slightly. And then stretch, give it a squeeze. And then up to the side slightly. And release. Great work. Come on to our side. So this is where you can have a blanket, support your head. And just having your hand lightly in front as much as you need to. You can have the bottom knee bent as well for a bit of extra stability. You want to draw the top hip long. So you're really engaging the whole of the core, this underside of the waist is active as well. So you can, as you get more advanced, you can play with your hand on your hip. Up to you. Taking the leg hip height or a bit higher. And a little circles for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way for ten. Nine, eight, seven. Keeping the core engaged for five, four, three, make sure you breathe, two, one. Keeping the leg up coming to little rainbows. So tap it down in front, rainbow up and round to the back. That's one. Coming for two. Tap and tap. For three, keeping yourself zipped up, internally with those muscles. For four. Nice big arc up. For five, tap and tap. For six, tap and tap. Seven, tap and tap. Eight, tap, nice big up. Me there. Nine, tap and tap. For ten, tap and tap. Good job. Draw it in, give it a rub. Spin it round, feel the side. Taking your blanket with you. So resting your head back down. Again, you've got a neutral spine here. Option of taking the bottom leg a bit bent for a bit of extra stability. Hand in front as you need to, or progressing from your side. If you turn the top toes down a bit, you get into that bust a bit more. So gripping through the core, circle it back. For one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. The ten. Nine. Eight. Breathing. Seven. For six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Here come our rainbows. In front, arc it up and behind. That's one. For two, tap and tap. For three, tap and tap. For four, tap, tap. Get a nice stretch through the thigh there. 
for five, tap, tap, for six, tap, still gripping through here, for seven, tap, and tap, for eight, tap, tap, knee there, nine, tap, tap, last one, ten, tap, and tap, good job, draw it in, give it a rub, coming on to all fours, this is where you can use a blanket under your knees to make it a little bit cut and on those knee joints. So just from here, getting into that neutral again, have a little play, inhale, open, exhale, roll it back up. One more, inhale, open, exhale, roll, and then find that halfway, you're pushing the floor away, you've got a slight little back curve. From there, just taking your right arm up as we exhale, Inhale down, other side, we're doing six of these, inhale down, and again, right for three, left for four, really all fours works the core so beautifully, it strengthens the back and the abdominal muscles, last one, then turn the attention to the legs, as we exhale slide with the right leg out, hip turn down, Inhale, return. Then the left for five. And the right for four. Keep checking the form. For three. For two. Really good for shoulder stability when you weight going through your arms like this. Last one. And then taking right arm, left leg. Off we go. Exhale for one. Alternating sides for two. For three, for four, two more, five, holding on this one, for six, holding, reaching for five, push out of the floor, for three, two, one, release other side, for five, hip turn down, four, push the floor away, three, add on, two, one, back down. Then coming into a plank, I might slide this back a little bit more. So you're on your knees for the plank. And you can aim to get your hips sort of shoulder height. And the key here is to hug the elbows actively towards the knees. You might find you slide a bit too much on the blanket, so you might wish to try without. Up to you. But really draw the knees towards the elbows, holding for 10, 9, this is a tough one, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow down, good work. Making a pillow with your hands, one hand on top of the other, and then forehead onto hands. Shoulders slide down your back. Abs draw up. So imagine your belly's on a hot plate, so you're still lifting through those core muscles. Glue the head to the hands, and we're just going to hover up a couple of centimeters, no more. Inhale, pair. Exhale, hover and hold for ten. Sliding the shoulders down the back, resting head into the hands. For another six, five, keep breathing. Four, three, two, one, slowly down. Make it more dynamic, so we're going to lift and lower with the breath. So off we go. Abs on, inhale, pair. Exhale, float up. Inhale, come back down. Use all those back muscles. To lift ourselves up as we exhale, inhale, tap down, for three, for four, five, six, for seven, for eight, nine, holding on the ten, for ten, Holding for five and breathing and bracing. Three, two, one, release. Hands and the shoulders coming back up into push ups. So taking the arms quite wide. The more box like you are, the easier it is. The longer your body is, the harder. So you choose. Push ups such a good move for really, the shoulders are quite vulnerable, especially as you get older. Keeps a bit of strength around all that musculature there. And it really works the core and the abs and back as well. So let's do a few of these. 
You can alter your position or rest as you need to. So inhale down, exhale, up and go for 10. For two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up and then send it back over the heels into child's pose. Few breaths here. If it's more comfortable, you can have the knees wide. Your head doesn't need to reach the earth. That's fine. And then walk it out just towards the right, pressing back to the left hip. Few breaths here. And then send yourself the other way, reaching over to the left hand side. Sinking through the right hip, few breaths here. Back to centre. Coming round onto our back again for a little bit of final stretching. Taking the right leg out long, so nose in line with toe, left leg in towards you. Inhale, lengthen up, space and spine. Exhale, hinge forward to hamstring stretch. I don't want any crunching, so just tilt at the pelvis. You might be up here, that's fine, but don't want any hunching. So just go and keep them with a straight back, breathing into it, five breaths. You choosing wherever you go. And inhale when you lengthen, exhale when you deepen. Two more breaths. Slowly back up, turning side on. So now shuffle yourself a little bit. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, over to the right. And again, really opening ourselves up. Rotating ourselves. Gazing up three more breaths. Really feeling into the sideways. Slowly back up. Take the left knee up. Line yourself, hips forward again. And then just take the right arm, hugging around that left. Thigh rotating, looking gently over the left shoulder for a gentle neck stretch. Three more breaths. Slowly back to centre, switching sides. Right foot in, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sending it long. Again, try to keep a bit of length in the spine. Hinging the hips to get the length. We don't want to crunch our neck at all. Three more breaths. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen. Slowly coming up. Taking the leg out to the side slightly. As you lengthen up to the right arm, really lengthen through the spine as you lift and then lower. Again, rotating upwards. Five breaths. Grounding down through the opposite hip. Slowly back up. Line your legs back up again. And bring this right knee up. And then taking the left arm, hugging the right leg. Right arm behind, gently with the other right shoulder. Squeezing it in there. Sitting up tall with the spine. Two more breaths. And that's it, you've done your body a lot of good in the last 20 minutes. So thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day.